Hey everybody, this is Chris Garza from Suicide Sounds, and you're watching Heavy Consequence. Hey everyone, it's Spencer from Heavy Consequence. I'm here with Chris and Dan from Suicide Silence. How are you guys doing? Doing well. Alive and breathing. Yeah. That's good. good. He's doing real good. Yeah, cool. He's on. Cool. <laughs> well, I just saw you guys. Um, uh, killer show. I live in New York. Saw you guys in Coney Island in Brooklyn. Oh, great. Uh, on a really cool bill with Baroness, Kill Switch Engage, and Lamb of God. Yep. And uh, very cool tour. Can you talk about what it's like uh, being on the road with such a like a, a fun bill of a, a, and also a diverse bill of, of metal bands? That's the coolest part to me is the diversity of it. You actually went to the first show. Yeah. So we're all we were all just getting our kinks out, meeting the people we haven't met, seeing old friends. Yeah. That diversity of that tour is so cool, and we're having so much fun. I love it. Yeah. I mean, um, all the bands are sick. They're all their own thing. Us, their own thing. Baroness, their own thing. Kill Switch are legends, obviously. Lemon God, legends. So it's just a it's an honor to be a it's an honor to be on those stages. I mean, we haven't been on those stages in like 13 years. So to, to be back on there, it's uh, it's, it's kind of crazy. Cool, cool, yeah, it's really cool, and like, they, everybody brought their A game. The Lamb of God, that man, that I don't know if you saw it, but their their stage show is getting crazy. We watch now. them every Good. night, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> every night. And Randy's doing those jumps, like I still doing them as crazy. At 50, man, it's just, you bands like that, I'm looking at, I'm like, how long can you keep going? <laughs> yeah, because yeah. yeah. it gives us, you know, a little. Oh, you know, it's possible. Yeah. You know, where I mean, I'm 36, Dan, you're 37. 37. Yeah. So we're, yeah, you we're not it. we're not getting younger, it's we're getting older. The scene, like bands rock out still yeah. you know it's, 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 it's very it, cool yeah it's, it's inspiring and you guys have a new uh album remember you must die coming up it's going to come out in the first quarter of 2023 yes uh i know there's not a lot of details out there yet but what can you tell me about maybe the direction of the album uh it's it's us it's <laughs> heavy as possible yeah we we, we made a joke uh saying we just wanted to be as heavy as possible, <laughs> and it came out as heavy as possible as we could do. Yeah, and we're super stoked on it. There's not much out there yet, which I like, because it makes people like want to hear it. So, like, the more you want to hear it, the more you're going to be surprised, and the more you're going to love it. Cool. But you did release the single "You Must Die." Uh, tell me about that one, if if you don't mind, and the kind of decision to throw that out there as a preview of the album. I think it's a just a good, a classic, great tune. It's it's classic us. You know, and uh, it took us a long time to get at this point. So this kind of, the songs kind of pick themselves, you know. So oh, that's obviously going to be the first song we want people to hear from uh, this, this record. We're all pumped about it. And uh, we're playing th uh, this song on this tour. It's a lot funner than I expected. And I was like, damn, this makes me want to fucking headbang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, yep. Spencer. But, yeah, I mean, uh, so it's heavy tune. Um, we're releasing a song every two months. Until obviously the first quarter of 2023, so we're all we're all stoked. Yeah, cool, very cool. And uh, this year marks this uh, Suicide Silence formed in 2002, mm -hmm. and this marks the 20th anniversary of the band. Yes. And uh, Chris, you, you know you're an original member. Mm -hmm. Did you like when you first started out? Did you think you would still be going strong 20 years later? Uh, it, it's a it's a mixed thought and feeling yeah. because. Uh, I mean, the band started very highly ambitious. You know, I wanted playing guitar when you were a kid, you know, being 13, like, I want to do this forever. You know, it's kind of how the music sounds that way. But, you know, obviously I can't predict the future, so I'm still kind of surprised that we're still here. It's yeah. like, oh shit, it's happening. Yeah. You know, and, uh, we've, we, 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 we've experienced a career going away. So to actually still be here doing it and uh, to do the stages that we dreamt of when we were kids, it's, it's, a, it's a fucking trip. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I don't mind, I don't mean to get on a somber note, but it is the tenth anniversary of, of Mitch Lucker's passing uh, mm -hmm. coming up. And I, I, I want a, more of a celebration of his of his life and his uh, his music ten years later. Can you talk about you know him as a person and as a front man and you know you know what he meant to you uh, you know as a friend? As a friend, he was everything, and as a front man, he was everything. And we think about him every day because we're playing songs every day. You know, it's hard not to think about him. I think about him every day I'm on stage. I see someone who is really good friends with him backstage. I'll think of him right then. He's still here. You know, he's not like he's not gone at all. But um, yeah, I miss him, and I wish he was still here. But we're still honoring his legacy every single day. Every day. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's, it's going to be 10 years in a, a month, and. Uh, 
it's a trip. Yeah, I, I, I say this a lot. You know, he's still in the band, and I don't, I don't want. I say this all the fucking time. <laughs> I try not to get spiritual, but like you know, I still feel he's in the band, helping us make those hard choices of, of uh, going on. And uh, yeah, we lost, uh, we lost our brother, my best friend, the face of the band, all in one fucking second, dude. I, I was there. You know, I saw yeah. it happen. And uh, be able to to see his legacy still go on is it's 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 mitch he was like he was above life guy so i mean now being around like like the younger bands now uh playing a similar style of music and like being younger or it's like man like look like look what he fucking did for for the heavy metal scene and for and for the deathcore genre to be more like i mean there's a there's mitch and there's a far away number two like his yeah. his live presence really speaks for itself, you know. Like he kind of is like why like I like look look over at him and like he'll just be going crazy. I'm like I go I, I, I go rock out harder too and like fucking <laughs> go home and fucking necks all fucked up. But you know, I mean, he was that guy. He was a very a, above and beyond life guy, you know. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate you talking about him, and uh, on that on that same note, and you said it, you know obviously really tough shoes to fill. But can you talk mm -hmm. about? You know the job Eddie's done, like just stepping in and, and keeping the legacy going. I think he's done a phenomenal job. You know, I for me, if it wasn't Eddie being a singer for Suicide Science and stepping into those impossible shoes, yeah. no one could do it on this planet. Yeah. There's there's only one guy that can do it to me, and that was Eddie. If it wasn't Eddie, like we wouldn't be a man anymore. Yeah, people are like, who could who could who could do that? There's, you guys could pick anyone. It's like. No, we can't pick no. anyone. We can no. pick the one motherfucker that could do it. Yes. And we did. Cool. You know, who's going to be respectful? Who's had the history with us? I mean, we've done our first tours with Eddie, with uh, Asha Paris. Obviously, his vocal range speaks for itself as well. And uh, who, do, who do we get along with? Uh, same uh, age range. And, like, who's going to... Yep. Well, more importantly, who's going to handle the shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's, who's going to be in the band? And him and Mitch were really close. They had matching tattoos on their feet. Yep. They, it's just... Yeah. We just yeah. got one of Mitch's brothers to start singing with us. 